this. I know. <laughs> this guy travels the world and meets the people every single day. And it is my big, biggest pleasure to welcome him on stage. Of course, you know him. We all know him. We all love him. And I can't wait. I can't wait to get him on this stage and give him a big, big hug. This gentleman takes care of himself. That's important. He's always exercising. He's passionate about so many things, including all of his dogs. I see him online every single day, and he's playing with his He's looking at them. He's taking care of them. Just like he's taking care of every single one of us in this room. Yes! This guy needs the recognition that he deserves. So please, please, help me welcome to the stage, Head and Sophia, Madison Group, Mr. Contentee! Let us have a look 
where we started, which kind of fundament we built together, not only corporate, when I'm talking about us, it's the Sophia team, including me, but it's also including you. And I want to give you some little hints about the future and what is coming next. Let's see if my slides are working. Yes. So before I start, who are we? We are one life. Does anybody of you know how many teams all around the world we have? One team. One. One team. One team. Yes. And it's three and a half million people strong. Yes. yes. One team in 200 countries. Hi to everybody of you sitting at home in the streets in six continents. What makes us so big? What makes us successful? You heard quite a lot today from amazing presenters. By the way, um, maybe later you should sing happy birthday to Mr. Gordo. <laughs> yes, but what makes us so big? We have a clear vision and I have a clear mission. We know what we stand for. We have a goal and we're working constantly towards it. We aim to give education to the world, to ignite an educational financial revolution, to give people the opportunity to use digital financial products, to create new markets, to create new opportunities, and to help people increase the quality of their lives. Our cryptocurrency will create peace, will reduce poverty, and will make transacting business affordable for the masses. Does anybody of me know what time it is? It's you outside! Can I hear it from the whole, from everybody? What time is it? It's, it's you outside! outside. <laughs> yes, it's Paris o'clock. So, you know what? Maybe 50 people are now live on Facebook. Um, so, I guess many people are sitting at home and watching us. All eyes on Paris, all eyes on you. Do you know why we get it here? We are starting the old continent. We want to show the world that all markets grew this year, and Europe is the next one to go. We're gathering here with a focus on the new ones. Who of you is new here? <coughs> Mr. Black Diamond is his first day, of course. <laughs> okay, then. I'm happy to see that all of you know what it's about. It's about learning. It's about growing. You're not an emerald, you're on your way to diamonds. Never forget this. So, therefore, the best presenters and the most experienced ones from this continent are here to share their experience with you. I really hope you appreciate that you're learning from the best of the best of the entire industry. We're here to recognize the ones who worked hard, who were an example for the whole network, the whole year. But before we move on, I already mentioned Mr. Gordon. Thank you for organizing the millionaire training in the last days. I was there yesterday for one and a half hours and I have to tell you, for me it was an amazing experience. I met you guys, who was not champions, but I really saw how motivated you are. How much you, not only are, you're not waiting for somebody to come and teach you something, you want to learn. I hope you get the difference. And this is what will make you successful in the end. Also, I would like you now to give a big, and when I say big, I really mean big, Applause for, for the ladies and gentlemen organizing this, making this happen, <coughs> spending the last months on the road. I've seen it on Facebook every day a different city covering the whole continent. These guys didn't see home for quite a lot of time. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for making this happen. I would say, 
Let's take this chance and waken an old sleepy giant up. And with me? Yes! yes. Good. So, I already mentioned that I have seen a country or two this year. And for me, the most important thing about evolving is teamwork. Without teamwork, without the sharing of ideas, this all would be impossible. Everybody works just for its own. This is not the idea about it. This is no evolution. So when I'm traveling, I'm meeting, of course, a lot of people from different cultures. What's interesting for me is to sit down with them and to talk to them. I don't like to behave like a boss or I don't want to sit in my hotel room or something. It's an exchange of point of views and it's an exchange of ideas. This is the way how we make the big picture even bigger. I've spent a lot of time in Latin America. I've spent a lot of time in Africa this year. And to be honest, it was the first time in my life I really spent a serious time there. Not only a few days, but serious time. It was like months in Latin America, months in Africa. And what I met there, was a ground-shaking potential. I've seen people there working really hard, dedicated, but sometimes also desperate, seeking for education, seeking to get included into the world, and also seeking to find their freedom. So meeting these people, being influenced by this potential, by their ideas, for me it was pretty clear that one of our main goals for this year is evolving and growing these markets. <coughs> so, let's start with one, one of our key markets, Latin America. So, ¿Dónde están los latinoamericanos? This is kind of drilling half of the world just to make noise. Thank you. That is tennis. No Latin. No Latin? So, half of my slide is lost. No words. I hope I learned it by heart this time. Why Latin America? Latin America is a very, very dynamic market. Companies from all over the world are investing, trying to use the new consumer patterns to grow their markets and to place new products. Many new companies adapting to new strategies. Do you know how many, really quite a lot of companies don't use any more traditional marketing channels? They're using MLM. Yeah. So, I mentioned Latin American people there. And what I saw is that you guys have such an amazing temperament. There's like no blood in your veins, it's just liquid fire. So, of course, when you see these temperamental people, yeah, dedicated to the max. Then it was pretty clear to me why the financial world is not only evolving and growing in Latin America. No, it's adapting at your temperament. Let the whole financial world works for you there and not you for the financial world. So let's sum up. You've got very goal-oriented temperamental leaders. You have a generation that really wants to work, disciplined. The next thing is new product portfolios. Every company wants to grow their markets. This combined makes Latin America a very desired continent for growth, for investment, for the whole retail market. I can tell you that we grew that much this year in Latin America that we almost hit 400,000 people only on this continent. But I expect more next year. <laughs> so far, Latin America. The second key market of us is Africa. I often get asked, why are you going to Africa? What do you want to do there in such a poor co continent? And exactly this is the point. Cryptocurrency has so much to offer that can help this continent, include everybody on this continent in the world. 
So let's start, for example, with the role of cryptocurrencies. They play in economic growth in every country. This was even stated uh, by the latest report from the Spanish National Bank. Cryptocurrencies can ease up border transactions and lower transaction fees. And for those of you who like statistics, did you know that the highest rate of cryptocurrency holders is in Kenya? I was as well surprised. But there are many more problems in Africa that can easily be solved with cryptocurrency. Talking about potentials of this continent, we have to start with the inclusion of the unbanked. Unbanked are by definition people who have no bank accounts or nothing similar. Usually they pay cash, they have no insurances, no pensions, no professional related money services. These people have one big problem. They can receive their money. Also, they get loan money. Many of you might ask yourself, where is the problem? So, if they have no financial empowerment, how do they want to be part of this beautiful 21st century revolution? How do they want to develop? If this is not given, there is no security for you, and in the end, there is no hope. Unbanked people are forced to think short terms, day to day, what opens them to exploitation. Think about countries with wars, think about countries with child labor, extreme pollution. Does this happen in France? Does this happen in Germany? No. This is almost exclusively in countries with a high unbanked pollution. Being unbanked. It's not the only problem that you can't loan money, you can get your money, you also can send money. The times I was in Africa, especially in Nigeria, I met people who said, when I want to send money to my mom, I'm baking a cake and I'm sending it, then I'm praying to the postman is not hungry. Yes, but what do the others do who have no baking skills? They use limited services with their high taxes. We know that in some places on this planet, remittance services are very important because it's the only way to send money. But the remittance services know it, so they tax you quite a lot. The World Bank states that this market is a market of $600 billion every year that people send to others all over the planet. When I think about it, I can promise you one thing. Cryptocurrency won't only take a piece of this cake. Cryptocurrency will take the whole market. And it will take it by storm. You know what? Why should anybody pay 10, 20, 30, sometimes 50%, imagine 50%, when you can, can pay less than one? So when I tell you this market has a potential of $600 billion every year, I still didn't mention the 22 trillion business to business. Okay, the first, the first thing I want to mention is wealth preservation. I think you're all working, and the problem is that our wealth, our income, is tied to a currency. If it's tied to a currency, it is dependent on the strength of this currency. There is there are not so many strong currencies left on this planet. Let me give you a nice example of Africa with the one trillion Zimbabwe dollar bill. I think you understand what I'm talking about. After the last world crisis, the US started printing money. The last 10 years, they printed nine times more money than they had the previous 200 years ago. And this is not exclusively a USA problem. China did, Russia did, UK did, Canada did, we in the European Union did it too. Everybody all over the planet does that without even thinking how this affects the planet, how this devaluates your work, your hot spot. Thinking about this, I think you see that all over the planet there are quite a lot of people who want to put their money into something that doesn't get devaluated. 
can now combine my last three points and just think about what opportunities cryptocurrency creates that everybody of you should understand the potential of Africa. <coughs> so now the last 10 minutes I'm standing on stage talking about evolving markets, growing, growing the network, Latin America, I want you to double yourself next year. When I'm standing here and talking about it, um, the first thing I have to ask myself is, are we able to handle such a growth? Or will it be too much? Will it be the wild west? What will happen? Well, asking myself this question, there's still one answer. More than ever, ladies and gentlemen, the next strategy for this year, born in January 2018 in Frankfurt. The beginning of the new generation, the beginning of the GLG. What happened there? Behind the scenes the whole year. You all know that the network in the last years grew very fast and grew very, very big in a very short time. The whole industry never saw such a rapid growth like we did. The GLG 
gives us also another chance. We see where we're growing rapidly, where is the demand of help, where we can do something, and yeah, how everything is growing. In the last months, one of the biggest growths was in Africa. Just want to say hi to everybody who's watching at home. But also Europe. If you want a little proof about it, just look at your right, look at your left. What happened to this continent? And then you understand this growth, then you understand what the gentleman organizing this year created. Great groundwork once again. Two main questions 
we want to answer is first of all, first of all, what can you do to protect yourself from all the risks and the dangers approaching not to swallow you in your existence? <laughs> but where there is danger, where there is a problem, there is always an opportunity. This was the second thing, the second question we ask ourselves. How can we teach people to use this opportunity, to use this to grow even stronger than they were before? <coughs> so far, this ebook is only available uh, in English, but I think it's time to make it more accessible for everybody because um, some of you speak only Spanish, Chinese, and therefore now we're translating it into all the key languages. What should be up in the next two weeks or three? Yes. <coughs> Sorry. Okay. So far, the retrospective is this year. Let me just mention one last thing. There was a little issue we had, and then we can move forward. Let me just say, tell you that the coin safe issue is solved. Yeah. Yes! <laughs> the Caribbean's like it. So, next week should be our uh, official communication telling everybody what to do and you will be informed about next steps, everything. Just don't bother, as I promised to you. Also, this will be solved. But now, back to the future. And the future will be definitely one of the most important things. Still three days of procession, yes, I promised you this will be our future, but also the deal shaker. <laughs> so I guess this was the applause for the old platform. Give me some applause for the new one. happens to this platform. Next time I'm going to ask you to sit down because we're making the biggest applause with the biggest noise ever. But now let's start to talk a little bit about it. What happened? We evolved DealShaker according to community needs. We wanted to provide merchants now with more value. Because consuming patterns are changing a lot. It's people don't buy only product because of their characteristics, because of the price or the packaging. Many people buy product because of the image itself. Now we will provide merchants with a lot more value. Again, the element of communication. You can communicate with your potential clients. You can put up videos in order to support your product. You can put up success stories. I'm following Gilshake from the very beginning, and I see that there were quite a lot of success stories that deserve to be shared. This platform, combining it with social media, with all the advantages of it, this means that um, every potential buyer now finally has the chance to get to know the seller and the person who's behind them. Again, I lost my slot. But um, so far, we call Deal Shaker a mark, an e commerce platform, an advertising platform. But for me, it is so much more than just a marketplace. It is, as I told you, we evolved it according to community needs, taking the next steps. And I think all of you patiently were waiting that it's finally here. So, I know it is live already, and the next steps will come. I don't want to go that much into detail because otherwise, Mr. Duncan doesn't have work later. <laughs> <laughs> so we also prepared for a nice training, a nice presentation from one of my favorite colleagues. Duncan, it doesn't count to be Duncan himself. This is very, very closely tied to a franchise model. 
I think everybody of you knows what a franchise is, right? Yes. Thinking about everybody of you who heard about small businesses like McDonald's, like Starbucks, like eBay. You would be very, very surprised to see how many businesses you interact with daily basis on franchises. It's gas stations, hotels, car dealerships, restaurants. Franchise comes to the world. So, what is good about this model? It is a big platform tailoring for small markets. You'll take a product out to the world, spread the world, the word about it in new markets. Because nobody knows the neighborhood as well as you do. You know, a centrally old platform doesn't know how to approach a merchant in Trinidad, doesn't know how to approach a, a merchant in Vietnam. But you guys know how to do it. The next thing is, you don't necessarily need business experience. We give you the training you need to operate with this platform, with this business. It gives you the independence of a small business combined with strength and all benefits of a big business network. What else is good about it? You can offer it in your language, offer your currency, and offer your payment method, your market feels the most comfortable with. Why is this important? DealShaker is proudly Bulgarian in its origin, but proudly international in its operation. Yes. So it wouldn't make sense offer in Venezuela DealShaker in Bulgarian and charging people in left, right? <laughs> Maybe you understand now why a franchise is so important. Let yes. Thank you. Let me now proudly announce you the first franchise holder. Kim James, Simon and Tiffany. Alessandro, Alessandro, Nazir. Diego, Yale, Elena. Elena, oh, sorry for this. I wrote this presentation last night, I didn't want to. And I'm your Pascal. So big applause for you guys. Yeah. You are finally something big and great. Okay. Yeah. So far, I was telling you about growing networks, growing markets, and growing deal shaker. What keeps us from this? What was the biggest problem so far? Not from your town in England. The KYC procedure. So far, when I hear your reaction, I know that many people of you face some problems with KYC, right? It was let's call it as it is, it was really annoying, such a long process of waiting. And then also we grew pretty fast in a pretty short period. And there were some other difficulties for my team, I will mention later, but now we found a solution. Let me tell you that the time of waiting is over. Wow. Therefore, let me introduce Junior. I'm also Junior. Yeah. Don't go in there. You promised me to do some crazy things and show my mom some energy, you know? She only came not to see me, she came to see you. Because when I come home, I always tell her, Mom, look what I'm doing, traveling the world, everybody's going crazy. She see Africa, she left America, went to Europe, wake up, just show some love for my mom. Yeah. identity, a computer vision, and ID experts who identify your document 
if it is authentic and belongs to the user. And they do let you immediately and accurately trust and know your customer. It eliminates online fraud really easy. It's an ID scan and a real-time selfie that recognize all biometric points of the face. And the good thing about it is, if it gets rejected, you get it. It's the most accurate solution in this market. We didn't want to start working with a beginner. We want, as we aim to be the biggest and the best, we have to work with this. Therefore, it's used by leading companies all over the planet. Doesn't matter if it's in the gaming sector, sharing, financial, retail, or blockchain industry. Millions of transactions have been made by Japan. So, again, this is not a new being, this is a global player we're with. Another very, very great thing I like is I mentioned um, Africa, including poor countries, undeveloped countries. But where is the next problem? When you're unbanked, there are various reasons why you're unbanked. The one I love the most, people don't trust banks. <laughs> so I think Africa is a role model for all of us. The second thing is, people are not worthy to be worked with for the banks because they don't have enough money because they can't afford opening um, yeah, uh, work with banks, sorry. And bank branches are not conveniently located. But in many, many cases, people simply don't have an ID card, they don't have a passport, they don't have, even have an authorization that they live somewhere or that they're alive. So, our KYC and our compliance department always try the best to include poor and undeveloped countries. But as you <coughs> might imagine, this is very, very tricky and time consuming. Now, Junio is offering you a solution without making any compromises. I think Duncan will tell you more about this later. Yeah. Great. Then, let's summarize. We will take the whole uh, identity process to a new level. The only thing you have to do is just register in the new deal shaker and Jumio will do the rest. <laughs> Bless you. So. Yeah. I didn't even start talking about the slide. 2018 is slowly coming to an end. We're at the end of October, November. So, I think let's take one minute. Just look back. Remember how this year started? <laughs> Woo! No, it was definitely cool. No, no, no. And just think about where we are now. Yeah. I think maybe we don't see every day what we are doing in Sofia. But looking back at, on the last 11 months, I want you to stand up now and give an applause to my staff in Sofia. People dedicated, working for you, day and night. Yeah.
We put a lot of dedication in this year to support you, to grow with you, to be back stronger than ever. You see what happened to the network? You see what the GLG gave you? We gave you more trainings, we gave you more support and equal standards. So that it's not like it was before that somebody felt on top and felt superior than somebody else. We created a solid base of people among people. Evolving the network was the only thing that happened. Keep in mind that we're almost approaching the last period of the coin offering. You know what this means in six weeks, right? Deal Shaker is knocking at our doors. A very new big platform. And we're definitely not stopping evolving it and bringing it to the next level. This was just the first step, except more. But it is also questioning us. Almost every day is a question, where can we grow? Where can we more sustainable in our business models, in our development? How can we think about tomorrow, not only about today? Thinking about next year, stronger, being stronger. For me, it is very important that everybody of you keeps one thing in mind. The job of self-improvement is never done. Never. It doesn't matter if it's in business. It doesn't matter if it's your health or if it's your mind. Improve every day a little bit. Yes. Step by step by step. You don't see every step. Looking back 11 months ago, you see what happened to you. Me, for example, I like traveling with a book in my hand. I'm a little bit of a nerd. And um, on my way to Paris, I ran a recent research about cryptocurrency and some of the cryptocurrencies. How much energy they use for mining and for actual usage. Only these emissions they create will push up global warming up to 2 degrees Celsius. You know what this means, right? Yeah. Well, let me tell you that we are not pirates. And we will never be. Yes. Tất cả những bài viết của các anh chị hôm nay đã có tốn tốn điện đó có thể tăng làm cho trái đất tăng lên hai độ. Nhưng quan coi mình không có không làm trong sự. Let me speak about me. <laughs> I want to be a little role model for everybody. Just to know, wait, wait. Maybe I'm, you don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> I want you always to remember how privileged you are. I want you always to remember <laughs> that you have responsibility for the footprint you're leaving on this planet. It's not only you always look left and right for the people surrounding you. As I already mentioned, I spent quite a lot of time in Africa this year. There were almost four weeks and I was in about 10, 11 countries, something like this, only on this continent. And there is a saying telling that if you go to Africa and you come back, you're not the same anymore. And definitely this is right. Each of my traveling there really, really moved me a lot. It was the warmest welcome, the best days, and the warmest goodbye. But when I came home, I was thinking about how can I contribute to improve the situation there. I saw many things that were really, really heartbreaking for me. And some of the gentlemen here are in the ground, Jamil, for example, um, Join some of our trips when we visited the kids in Uganda. Therefore, ladies and gentlemen, let me present you um, something that is very, very close to my heart. I think that we all together, we can make a change. So what is the plan? We will start a project 
with help of some locals and some leaders from the network. And we will do it via deal share. We want to collect some money to build the first East African orphan hospital in Uganda. Wow! Yeah! 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 That's a big. So, how will this work? We'll put it up on the DealShaker landing page and you will find it under our point DealShaker Christmas. If you want to contribute, you can buy the bond for 5 euro, 25 or 100. This whole project will be up to the middle of February. So, I know that all of you love me. And I know that all of you know that I have my birthday in the middle of February. And all of you want to give me some birthday presents. If you really want to do, support this project, ladies and gentlemen. When I see your reaction, I definitely don't think it will be a problem to raise this money and help these kids. Yesterday, when I was at Jose's seminar, I mentioned that this little boy on my arms here almost broke my heart, and when I see how they live, they deserve so much more. Really, please contribute. You're doing it for a very, very great thing. You can see on this slide these two gentlemen that are helping us building it, and here you can see the land of Uganda. It's actually here. Will the hospital will be. I don't know how long I'm talking about. So, let me tell you that this will be my last event for this year. Early morning tomorrow, I need to go back to Sofia because we need to finalize strategies for next year because in one year I also want to sit in front of you and show you what we have achieved and what we have done. This year has still five mm. weeks to go. We didn't finish and I'm not a fan of new resolutions because somebody who says I want to do this on this day will do it never. Sure. You can do a change every day, every minute. So I don't want to hear anybody complain at the end of the year that she didn't like this year. Yeah. First of all, you have no reason to, and the second one is, you have still five weeks left. One month to make this year yes. end glorious. <laughs> so, after these two days, I want everybody to go home motivated and to give the best of you. To finish this year to the max. Before we show the world in the beginning of next year who we really are. Yes!